I'm back with another video. <laughs> what? Okay, so today, as you've read in the title, we're doing my top 10 favorite briars. This was hard. <laughs> um, I love all of my briars very dearly, and I'm only doing my traditionals, not my classics. If you really want a video over that, I'll give it to you. But I didn't really think it was necessary. I'd rather I actually do one over my stable mates more than I would my classics. Um, just because my classics are more or less the ones I got whenever I was like much younger. And whenever I didn't know how to spend my money right. But now I do. And traditionals are much more expensive, especially the ones that I want. So we're just gonna hop on into this video. So first things first, um, I don't really have a specific order. The very last one though is my top favorite, kind of always will be. Mold and horse itself always will be my like number one, just because I love him so much. Spoiler, yes it's a him. Anyway, so the rest of them aren't in any order, really, because I love them all dearly, and they're kind of just scattered around. So I guess I'll just go this way. So first up, we have Prince Jester. Um, I, I love him because I just, I love his mold. I actually saw him on eBay for like $25 and I like snatched him up and I, he came in and I was so excited. I don't think I did an unboxing over him. That's whenever my YouTube was dead. Um, I got him and actually he's in pretty good condition still. I kind of got him when I was like really busy so I couldn't really like mess with him or like hurt him. I don't know if that's supposed to be there but if it is oh well it just adds to his uniqueness for me. Um, I love this mold. I really want to get more in this mold. Cute and I I love him and I would die for him. So there he is. Um, next up we have I call her Sierra Mist but it is the weather girl partly cloudy. She's so pretty and I love her so much. Okay, so look at that face. Oh my gosh, that face is a face. I just, mm, I will give it cuddles and loves all day. I love her so much. Um, she just, I just love her so much. Just look at those dapples. Oh my God, they're so pretty. And I am such a sucker for paints. Like, oh, I'm such a sucker for them. Actually, there is four of my favorites that are paints and, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them with dapplings. Dapple markings, dapplings, dapples. So I'm a sucker for dapples and paints. I love them. I also don't have any Appaloosas in my collections, but I do love Appaloosas too. They're one. Next up is Gigi Valentine. I will love her forever. Um, I, I didn't really think I'd grow to love her as much as I do now but every time I take pictures kind of sh like shouting out my Instagram account Diamond Briars 120 anyway um every time I take pictures of her I'm just amazed because she is so pretty and I love her so much I just love her markings I love her face she's so cute and I love her mold like I just love it so much that's my dog and the door's open. So I'm going to fix that, be right back. And I'm back and, okay, I don't have to fix it. Okay, so there's Gigi. Um, next up, I call him Dimitri, Dimitri's, but he's a Grillo Pinto. So not a paint, but still, um, close enough. Um, I love this mold too, so much. He's really, really pretty. And I love his eyes so much. Like, look at them, they're so cute. Oh. I can't remember how much he was, but I mean, I think he was more on the expensive side. I mean, just look at the detail. I really like um, socks that go like this and markings that go kind of like that. Um, I love socks. I love his little feet. I just, oh, he's so strong. I just love, I just love his mold so much. And he is honestly just the cutest thing ever. And I just, oh, I love him. Booty. But like, oh, he's just so perfect for me. And I actually have kept him in pretty good condition. I mean, I could have kept him in better condition, but I've had him ever since I was little. Let me 
fix my face. I've had him ever since I was little, so, um, you know, he's going to have a little bit of scratches on him, but for the most part, I love him, and he holds a very dear place in my heart and in my hair. <laughs> so next up, we have big checks to cash. Um, wow. <laughs> he is amazing and so pretty. I love his coat and his mane and his markings and his eyes. I love how one of his eyes is brown and the other is this beautiful blue. I just love all the detail put into him. I love his mold. His his mold's one of my like one of my fav more like up there on my favorites. I just I really like it. I like his brand mark and just everything about him is so perfect and I love it. I love him so much. He's another one that if I'm taking pictures, I just have to pick him up because he just, he's so photogenic. He's so photogenic. So beautiful. <laughs> but I just love it. Um, markings, are very pretty and very precise. They don't really smudge and that's really good. I've never really gotten to show my horses, but if I were to ever show them, he would be the one of them to show. But I would have to probably I don't know, clean him up a bit because he has a little bit of rub marks on him and shine marks, which I don't know how to get rid of, but I'm sure I'd find it somewhere. Okay. I just, my, one of, the next one that I have is the 2016 Holiday Horse. His name's Dayton. Um, I love him. He's so pretty. Um, his coat's actually like super shiny, like really shiny. This stuff is kind of hard to put on take off but I might take it off just for you guys just so you can see him in all his glory because he's beautiful <laughs> so I know that my parents get me all my horse like most of my horses from Christmas from Tractor Supply Co um, so this is kind of where he gets him so they're never really that date really um, but that's okay you can see the Briar Happy Holidays and he's so pretty and I love this mold I'm gonna say that a bunch of times you can do like a compilation of like how many times they say I love this mold hmm? anyway no but just look at him he's so pretty um, I just love his little feetsies I just really just love all the detail that they put into this mold and in his mane too like you can see every strand like I know it's the same for every bar but like oh, he's so pretty and he doesn't have complete black eye voids which I love that whenever you can actually see at least some of their eye instead of it just being completely like covered in black like they're demons from the pits of hell so <laughs> focus on his face <laughs> that was marking he's so cute I will put you back in your covering because he is actually one of them that is very very cleaned up and LSQ more than the other ones so there's that careful okay and Next up, we have Big Boy, Gypsy Banner. Oh, he's so cute. I actually think all of his markings are pretty precise, except for this one right up at his neck that kind of smudges in a little bit, but that's okay. I love him anyway. And some of his markings like smudge a little bit. I'm not too picky. Um, I just love, love his tail, love his mane. He is a beautiful horse. And I just, I love his feet. Oh, look at him. They're so cute. I just, oh, he's so cute. I just, I love all my horses. <laughs> um, he, I just love his face. I just think he has a very cute face. Like, oh, how could you say no to this? And you can see his eye. You can see his eye. He's, he's perfect. Okay, and another one that I have coming up is Quinn. Quinn, I think it is. I got her for Christmas too. And she's so pretty. Look at gosh she is really pretty and I think this is one of Briar's new molds um I mean it's really pretty mold like I buy another horse or two in this mold definitely um very very pretty the detailing on her mane is just so pretty and her tail has this really pretty like gradient and shading and like oh her little stockings are so cute I, I, I love the stripes I I love it when horses kind of have that and oh, I love her. She's really cute. She's really cute. She was a nice gift. She was a really nice gift. Definitely. Um, so we're getting near the end. 
So here is our ninth horse. San Antonio, I think it is. I could be wrong. That could be my name for him. I don't think so, though. He's beautiful. I love his mold <laughs> so much. I've actually always wanted one in this mold. And, like, every time you'd see one, they're, like, super expensive. So whenever I saw him and for the price that he was at, I, like, picked him up from the store and I just showed my mom. And I was like, I have to get him. I have to buy him. He is beautiful and he's cheap so um I got him and I'm so happy because oh my goodness I love this mold I love this mold so much he's in my he is my intro card surprisingly though he's not my favorite you'll see who that is um but yeah I just I love the shading on his tail they did it so well and so is his mane um I'm not too picky, like I said. <laughs> kind of wish the gradient was a little bit better. Sorry, that's my inner artist coming out. Um, but yeah, I just, I love it. I love him so much. I just, I really like the markings on his hooves too. So, mwah. cute face, cute mold. 10 out of 10, recommend buying. So, last but definitely not least is my favorite mold and the reveal in three. Oh, too late. <laughs> it's Pink Magnum. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, I love him. <laughs> he is so cute and he's another model that I was not expecting to love as much as I did as I do now because I bought him. I remember. I remember buying him. I remember him coming in the mail and I opened the box and I was like, oh, he's so cute. Am I, I kind of felt like I was faking it because like I bought him for $20 on Amazon and I was like, cause I just wanted a horse. I just wanted to get a new one. So I just found the cheapest one and I just bought it like boom. And I love him. I love him so, so, so much. And I, I love his mold. His mold is my favorite mold ever. Like if my Holy Grail might even be in this mold. Like if I get one of, whenever I get my, my plenty of my Holy Grails, I'm going to get in his mold. Um, sandbox is really pretty, but very, very overpriced. And I don't know if I can get $600 by the time I'll be making $600 when I get a job in my like twenties or something, unless I get like YouTube famous somehow in the next year. <laughs> I don't know if that would work. I know that some people like work on either YouTube channel for like like years and years and it takes them forever to get popular so I don't know I'm really bad at keeping con just consistent with my videos so it's probably not gonna happen anyway so um back to pink magnum the only person that matters a horse mm -hmm. pony um his face you can't say no to that face that is a cute face um it's just oh he's so beautiful I love, love, love his beautiful mane and cute little face. And he's just, oh, he's so cute. And I think, I think, I don't know. Um, his tail came like this, kind of looks unpainted. But, you know, I'm not complaining because it makes him more unique and more unique to, to me. And I like that a lot. Um, he's just, I love his markings. I love how they did his paint and everything. It makes my heart so happy to see him. Every time I see him, I just like rub on him because like oh, he's so soft. Like I feel like he's the softest model. I don't know why I say that, but I just, I feel like he is the softest and I can just hold him in my arm and I feel like I'd be like really cute just taking a picture going like, ah. I love him. You know, like I just, cause I do, I really do love him. He is uh, one of my favorites. Oh, quick apology. If I keep looking at myself instead of at the camera, just ignore me. It's been a long day and a long week for that matter. It's Saturday. Anyway, I'm sorry. So here he is and I love him. And yeah, that is it for the my top favorite product. Life is good, horses make it better. And I bet it makes it even better if you had a real horse. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, wherever your time zone is. If you're staying up late and watching me, first of all, why? Second of all, please sleep. 
sleep is good. Anyway, I hope to see you guys again here soon, and I'll keep you updated on the shelves if you follow my social medias. They'll be down below, social media down below, and I'll see you all later.